Thanks so much for joining us tonight for 13 News at 6. I'm Patrick Simon. And I'm Jennifer Abney. We are now less than 24 hours away from the start of the 2019 West Virginia legislative session. There is a long list of items on the agenda, and the governor says for once the state has a lot of extra money. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. How y'all doing? The numbers were announced by Governor Justice at a Tuesday morning news conference. Coal and natural gas severance taxes are up 50% over last year. Corporate net income tax is also up 42%. And sales tax revenue is up almost 10%. The governor says this is a far cry from deep deficits just a few years ago. I mean, when we're talking about the biggest in history surplus for the first six months, Considering where we were a couple years ago, it's really good. Really, really, really good. If there seems to be bipartisan agreement on one thing, it's another 5% pay raise for teachers, school workers, and all state employees. But overall, Democrats are cautious about the governor's spending plans. We have to keep in mind the law requires any budget surplus that we have, half of that must go into the rainy day fund. So, you know, if we are at uh, 180 million, uh, like he says, 90 of that has to go into rainy day. As a society, Republicans also laid out their agenda with more money planned for roads, tackling the opioid crisis, and education and jobs that could include free technical training or community college. We are anxious to tackle this issue because we know it's an important part of the economy. We know that if we don't tackle it, we're leaving economic dollars on the table. We will, we will take up the proposal in some form or fashion this year. And with the growth of the state economy and the revenue that brings in came a pledge of no new taxes. So we don't anticipate raising any tax. Anybody here want to raise a tax? No. <laughs> I didn't see your hands going up. Republicans still controlled the House and Senate, but lost seats in both chambers. A lot of where the governor would like to spend that surplus and at what funding levels will be unveiled during the State of the State address on Wednesday night. At the Capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Also today, the governor, House Speaker, and Senate President came out firmly against any bill that would legalize recreational marijuana in West Virginia. Many Democrats are saying yes to legalization. 